lovelies you're welcome back to my channel you're welcome to today's vlog today you'll be coming with me to teach in the lincolnshire village so in this village i was on a contract to teach science so i teach um ks3 science mainly and just a bit of um ks3 the ks3 consists of um year 7 to year 9 and ks4 is year 10 and then 11 then ks5 is um, the 12th and 13th form. So I teach KS3 mainly and I take a part of KS4. So this village is about um, 45 minutes um, by bus to my town to Peterborough but by, by um, driving by drive it is um, 35 minutes driving to Peterborough um, bus station. So on this particular day I actually took a cab. A cab to this village cost about 25 pounds but well, I had to take a cab on this particular day. So I took a cab and we went through um, several villages as well. You, well, um, if you're in the UK, you will know that um, the route, the bus route is different from when you're driving. So we took um, some routes whereby I was um, opportune to see actually lots of villages very close to Peterborough, quiet places. I love villages because they are quiet, because they are um they are peaceful yes even cities and towns are also peaceful but there's this peace that comes with villages so quiet and calm so well i'll be taking you to this village well hi because i'm on a long-term contract with the school i mean i'm opportune to know what i'm going to teach for um the next few weeks i so I have to prepare um for that not like the day-to-day -day cover supervisor so cover supervisor role whereby you might not know what to teach going to different schools but when you but when you're in the long term you know what to teach in um but that particular day yeah or that particular week so i have a practical yes for this particular day and i'll be showing you um my preparation for this practical as you all know as a teacher you need to prepare before you go in to teach your students. So I decided to prepare at home to see how this practical will go before I'll go and display <laughs> in front of my students. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take you along with me to teach in this village and then I'll show you the practical I did at home. Now let's see the practical I did at home before we continue our journey to this village. So I'll be making a practical on hair pressure how temperature affects hair pressure. So I'm using a can, an empty can. Yeah, so that is what I'll be using. I will need it. If it's in school, I'll be using a Bunsen burner, but you can also use an hot plate. Meanwhile, precaution, you need, you need high protective wear. If you have a long hair, you need to tie your hair to the back. And um, that is what you need for protection. And don't try this at home without an adult, please. So you need this, and I'm going to heat this hop. I've added a little bit of water in my can, and I'm going to heat, heat this hop. I also have a bowl of cold water. These are the two things I will need, or I'll say three things with the um with the eating system yes in school i'll be using a bonsen burner like i said so i'm going to heat this hop until it is boiling until i can see the gases because we want to see how temperature affects hair pressure so until i see the gases until i see the bubbling that is when i'm going to stop eating and i'm then i'm going to continue with the practical so now it's boiling and I'm going to, it's very hot, so you need a spatula to hold this. And I'm going to dip this straight in the cold water. So the end result of a practical is to seal the can crash. Usually the hair pressure inside an open can is the same as the pressure outside. In the experiment, the hair was driven out of the can and replaced by water vapor. When the water vapor condensed by dipping the can in cold water, the pressure inside the can became much less than the hair pressure outside. Then the hair outside crushed the can. So 
So yes, that is the practical for how temperature affects um, air pressure. So this is what I'm going to be teaching my students and then I'm going to be doing this in school. I've tested this at home. So yes, I'm going to be doing this in school. I don't think I'll allow the student to actually do this by themselves. For safeguarding, I'll do this um, by myself and we are going to use all the protective measures we're going to abide by them so let's go on with my journey to teach science in the village so my journey to school was a very seamless one yeah so um there was a bit of a traffic but i still got to school um earlier on time so i had about five classes in fact i had about three practicals that same day in which other ones are easy whereby we used balloons um we use um syringe those ones are easy ones and the students actually practice that themselves so i'm having my lunch on this particular day i didn't take lunch to school so i had to get this from their canteen yeah so well one of my students saw me and said miss beans and chips is not a good combination well i don't know if you think this is not a good combination kindly drop it in the com comment section fine i don't know this is how the a, a a meal is i just said they should give me a meal so there's a wrap there's beans and there is chips but i'm very sure i can't finish it yes i said it i cannot finish this so i just um had some of this food and i just had to trash the rest because i could not eat them all so i finished for the day and then i headed back to peterborough fine i can't take a cab of 25 pounds to this village and take a cab of 25 pounds back hmm. which account am i going to write out that one so i'm taking a bus back to peterborough yeah so i'm taking a bus back a bus from this village a lincolnshire village back to peterborough is um three pound sixty so and i don't know why recently i just love sitting in at the front seat of the upper part of a double decker bus so we are on our way back to peterborough on this particular day i was so so tired probably because i had about three lessons with practical i was so 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 tired and i was actually feeling hungry one i didn't finish my meal for lunch so i was very hungry yeah we are on our way back so we actually it took about 45 minutes back to peterborough 45 to 50 minutes back some bus drivers take about one hour back i think depending on their their driving um speed yeah so some take one hour some take 45 minutes some 50 minutes and depending i won't say driving speed i think depending on the on the number of stops yeah so you know depending on on um number of stops they get to before they get to peterborough so here we are now way back and we got to North Borough Dippings Gate. Yeah, that is also a village. I've talked in one of the schools in this particular village as well. So we um and this um village, the North Borough, I think is about thirty minutes to Peterborough, yeah. Yeah, it's about thirty minutes to Peterborough. <laughs> to this bus stop i just love this bus stop i was like wow this is actually a village because you cannot see this in peterborough i don't know about the outskirts of peterborough but you cannot see this within peterborough i'll show you the kind of bus stop you see in peterborough so we continued our journey yeah i think at this time we are about 15 minutes to peterborough yeah we're very close to peterborough <music> point i was just too tired i was so tired very tired i've used both my masculine and, and feminine voice today <laughs> i was so tired I, I was looking so rough yeah i was just too tired i just need something to eat and have a rest yeah so we got to peterborough hallelujah glory yeah and at this place we just got to peterborough this from here to peterborough's um bus station we still take about 10 minutes by bus so yeah we're still we're still on the journey <laughs> 
Yeah, so this is a bus stop in town. We are in Peterborough compared to the bus stop we saw the other time. Yeah, you can you can see the difference. So yeah, we are at Peterborough um Queen's Gate, very close to the bus station. In fact, we are about to just get into the bus station at this point. And I just pray I get a bus instantly going to my area. Hmm, I just pray so. But unfortunately for me, as I was getting near Queen's Gate, as I was getting off the bus, my bus going to my street or I would say my area just left. In fact, that's the most painful thing I, I can say. It's very, very painful. People living in the UK you or, and you're not driving, you, 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 you can feel that you're getting there and your bus is just leaving. In fact, it was really so. I just because I'm hungry, I just thought, okay, let me go to and the 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 bus station is quite a big one. Yes, compared to that of the villages. Yeah, this is Peterborough's um bus station, whereby you have buses going to different places, um towns, Wisbech, March, and different places within Peterborough. So I just got um up to the upper part of the Peter Bros bus station because it has like the shopping area. So I had to, so I decided to go to the shopping area just to wait for um the bus I missed. The uh, another bus will come in like 20 minutes to go into where I live. So yeah you have H and M, you have cloth Primark is also at the hop at the um clothing section at the shopping area inside it's inside the bus station. So you have H and M, you have T K Max, you have um, Primark, you have I think Sport Direct is here. But I was actually going to Grex to get something to eat because I was very hungry. So yeah, I got to Grex. Yeah, Grex is a place whereby you can just grab something to eat. So and mo most mostly when I come here, I get um their sausage roll or their chicken. Um, chicken something something i can't remember but i get their sausage roll chicken bake here yeah, now i remember so i get sausage roll most times so i just got sausage roll and i got um hot chocolate drink well this is the end of the vlog and i will see you in the next one bye